Okay, hello. Sorry, guys. Took a while longer. I am trying to... I was scrambling a bit, trying to get food and, like, a drink, um, of choice. Got my juvie for the day. Dude! Hi, Vicky! Jess, Jamie, thank you so much for the 27 months. Welcome back, Dorky Porky. Thank you so much for the five months. Thank you! It is almost like I'm streaming twice in a day. Late last night in the morning. Um, Harry, thanks for 60 months. Welcome back. Thanks. It's a Sriracha sh shirt. And are we still in the shortage? I slept. I slept a whopping. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little delirious, but I feel like. What time did I sleep? Maybe like. I tried to sleep early, but it was really hard. I think like three. Two. And then I probably got up around like nine. <sighs> Which tongue scraper should I buy at Walmart? The one that has the color that you like the most. I would personally get a nice pink one. Hi there, good morning. I know. No, there's a shortage, but I actually just saw at the market that there was a lot of sriracha so i feel like maybe they're not in a shortage anymore i don't know any people any 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 um sriracha enthusiasts that know out there tft you guys want tft i was honestly kind of on a league on a league grind <laughs> is it so bad that's it nine dollars a bottle i think that's pretty normal yeah, Ari, is that acceptable? Ari, what do you play in League? A League Redemption arc? Hell yeah. It's kind of crazy because most people before would be like, League was the regular thing. And then later it just started being TFT. Make my own sauce at this point. So what was the... Okay, hold on. We can watch the news. I think the sriracha shortage was because of... And correct me if I'm wrong. Um, But it's like the factory that they uh, get the chili peppers from or something. Um... I thought it was because they tried to like under like uh like they did one of their partners dirty in terms of like the person who gets some like the red chilies or whatever it was and so they um had to find another factor another place to get stuff from sriracha shortage how did it happen all right we're gonna watch a video on how it happened all right and this will solve all the mysteries today. Here is one of the most recognizable hot sauces in America used this ranch to source its peppers. Craig Underwood supplied Sriracha's primary ingredient and helped usher a simple family Craig business Underwood. into yeah. a multi-million dollar I think I remember brand. that. Our production increased, you know, there were several years, two or three years when it was increasing by 40 or 50 percent a year to the point where in 2015 we had 2,000 acres of jalapenos and we delivered 100 million pounds we were delivering oh my uh, god 50 truck and trailer loads every day for 10 weeks That's today huey fung foods the most popular maker of sriracha controls a 6.3 percent share of the entire hot sauce market that is the third largest of any individual company in the u.s in 2020, the company generated nearly $131 million in revenue. Oh my God. But the relationship between Underwood Ranches and Huey Fung Foods ended in 2017. More. And over the past few years, the spicy sauce has been hard to come by. I know, Prices Keone. have skyrocketed as third-party sellers are one of the few places the condiment can still be found. A two-pack of 17-ounce bottles is going That's for as wild. much as $70 on Amazon. Uh, supply chain and weather related issues can make it hard to find sriracha hot sauce this summer. Now the company says they still don't know when their supply will bounce back. I visited six different grocery stores in New York City and I called another 10. 
Yeah, Hi, do you carry it. Huey Fong Sriracha sauce? Oh no, we're, it's been, it's been uh, out of stock for like two months already. I know. I even checked but they local have it back at the market on now. Instacart, and Huey Fung Sriracha sauce Hi, James. was nowhere to be found. The bottles right in front of me came from the refrigerators of members of the CNBC digital video team. Sriracha video made of team? five main what? ingredients. Garlic, vinegar, salt, sugar, and red jalapeno chili peppers. This guy out here and trying to make his sriracha peppers, sauce. There's no sauce. The company declined CNBC's request for an interview. But for years, the sriracha maker has pointed to poor weather conditions affecting the quality of its peppers and therefore creating a shortage. But the story's a yeah, lot more Yeah, I heard that's not true. Craig Underwood yeah. tells me that if there hadn't been a legal battle, there would not be a jalapeno shortage for hoi fang. We would have plenty of sriracha. Given my past Good experience morning. with him, I have no reason to doubt that. CNBC visited Underwood Ranches, the farm who worked with the sriracha maker for nearly three decades to dig into what's really happened to the beloved rooster bottle hot sauce. On July 24th, 2020, Huey Fung Foods sent an email to customers that it was experiencing inventory shortages of the chili peppers used in its products and warned of manufacturing delays. The company currently sources its peppers from farms in California, New Mexico, and Mexico. The fact that other crops are more profitable, uh, jalapeno production really is uh, very limited in California, close to this processing plant. Explain the shortage while squirting a whole Mexico bottle on promised, camera. Thanks, uh, Robert. We don't Hi grow you. very many jalapenos. Good Most morning, Corey. Process are actually procured from. You don't know, sriracha. Sriracha is kind of like it's like a hot sauce, a hot chili sauce. Um, extremely popular, like a lot of uh vietnamese or chinese like uh any a lot generally a lot of restaurants just have it on hand it's like a really good consistent hot sauce it has a really good level of spice that it's just not too spicy where it's yeah it's probably one of the most popular ones would you is it the most popular ones how popular with tabasco in comparison maybe i'm not sure but it has like a really good balance of flavor and how hot it is and because i i typically can't handle hot sauce that well but i could have sriracha and still somewhat enjoy it if i don't put too much of it and then people who like more hot they could just add more of it so i don't know this region has been experiencing an extreme drought uh, yes for i would say it's a perfect years. level of hot These sauce peppers are typically like, grown for like the average irrigation. person um and yeah. so when you don't have rainfall and an adequate source of water to irrigate. There's definitely going to be people who are like, oh, it's not hot enough or anything, but I think for their the average The company released person, a follow-up statement in April of 2022, reiterating its supply shortages. It may be a not sweet. a hot sauce summer for Sriracha fans. Plus, how climate change could affect the condiments at your July 4th cookout. Pui Fong said a year ago oh, yeah, that it's they like were hopeful garlic. the shortage garlic. of 2022 would end in September. But here we are in the summer of 2023, and it's happening all over again. Craig Underwood says he's been sourcing jalapeno peppers from Mexico for years, and the California drought had no impact on his ability to grow the crop. The yeah. area where Craig was growing those peppers had one of the most stable water supplies in the entire state. Oh, he was we saying that it's not a weather thing at all. Production capacity. Okay, and so Sriracha Company denied interview and also said it was because of weather and other things that they had the shortage. But they're saying it's because of the lawsuit that they had or like all this kind of stuff. 2015 for 100 million and the pounds. peppers were fine Today, it was just more so we would still have that capacity and, and more there would be no agreement between uh supplying the all the consistent peppers supplier. that we needed if we were still producing them yes yeah, there's a i think if you should try it just try a little bit at first if you don't have much of a spice tolerance and you'll kind of be able to gauge in 1975, David Tran began making the sauces from peppers grown by his brother on a farm no, north of the city Tabasco formerly known version? as Saigon, Vietnam. Tran decorated the caps of the sauce jars with a rooster logo because it was his astrological sign. Oh, Just four years later, the Tran left came from Boston from. on a ship named the Huey Fung Freighter. Tran founded Huey Fung Foods in Los Angeles' Chinatown and then moved operations to a factory in Rosemead. Los Angeles, in 2013, the company moved to a new $40 million plant in Irwindale, California. American dream. He did it. 
Uh, Mandy, it's the hottest hot sauce on the market, but right now it's in hot water. Sriracha maker Hui Fong <laughs> Foods will be in court this Dude, is there a compilation that's got to be of like, of like news people who make puns? Like that, or like and facing off against the city like, of Irwindale over its new plant. <laughs> it burns your throat and your eyes a little bit. It's actually penetrating inside the homes. You walk in and you can smell the the chili inside the homes as well. But that case was dropped the following oh year God. in May of 2014. Wait, what case? What, what was? Eventually, Fong Foods will be in court this afternoon, facing off against the city of Irwindale over its new plant. Oh, it burns your throat and your eyes a little bit. It's actually penetrating inside the homes. You what walk are they in talking about? What's penetrating? The, the chili inside the homes oh. as well. But that case was dropped the following year in May of 2014. The Eventually, Irwindale realized, eyes? you know, we don't have a lot of industry in Irwindale, and here is this huge How plant did... that's doing big oh. business. As the company resumed like, manu... Like, oh, from like the, from like the factory. Like... Uh, when he, when they said that he uh, moved into like a factory like a production, and continued to amp up production, thing? it needed more of its most important uh, ingredient, peppers. Those peppers look Chewy so nice. Like they look higher, producing only three so well sauces. grown and juicy. Their chili garlic is a chunky hot like sauce peppers. full of garlic flavor, while their most popular sauce, sriracha, is a smooth paste. I love their the. Third offering I is like the garlic Sarmolo sauce Lek, of that. It has it's no good. flavors added to those pure chili peppers. We couldn't seem to get a hold of that sauce. Too spicy air. Oh, spicy air. Hi, Jamie. Good morning. <laughs> Good in 1988, morning. Craig Underwood wrote a letter to David Tran. And I said, you know, would you like us to grow some jalapeno peppers? And uh, he wrote back and said, yes. So we, we grew 50 acres for him that year. As sriracha became so popular, David Tran wanted more and more peppers. So Craig started clearing out all kinds of it other crops that he'd been growing outside. to make room for jalapenos. I covered agriculture for CNBC. I knew Craig for years. He was doing all kinds yeah, of things I mean, out Craig there. Yeah, he was back. trying to grow more and more peppers. It was even named Bon Appetit's Ingredient of the Year in 2009. We go back. We were sourcing the seed. We were trialing the varieties. We were um, growing the crop, building the equipment, harvesting it. We had, uh, we had to provide or secure all the transportation to get the peppers to the plant. We were scheduling it. Those are all processes that normally a processor would do. Mm -hmm. We did those for, for Hui Fong. By 2013, the hot sauce maker's annual revenue reached $85 million. That's crazy. But within a few years, the relationship between Huey Fung and Underwood Ranches began to fall apart. At the end of 2016, we were pretty sure we had an agreement going forward because we were always planning three years ahead. Oh. We were securing three land, hiring oh. people, building equipment. That makes sense. But court documents show that in 2016, the Sriracha maker made an agreement with Underwood Ranches to purchase 1,700 acres worth of peppers for $13,000 per acre. Uh huh. Well, then according to Craig, David Tran reneged on that deal. So he had all these peppers and no one all of a sudden to sell them to. Tran breached multiple financial agreements, including failure to pay in advance of $18 million. Wow. He began the formation of a new company called Chilico. Its goal was to source peppers for Huey Fung from different farmers. If there's a good year for farmers, if we don't have diseases, if we don't lose fields to weather related conditions, then we may so, have an overabundance. So I believe huh? that that's what was going on when the, um, they decided to look for other supplies that were cheaper than what they were purchasing from Underwood no, Farms. Uh, so he's... And I guess they'd hoped that that would continue, but it doesn't. Wait. They decided to look for other supplies that were cheaper than what they were purchasing from Underwood Farms. And I guess they'd hoped that that would continue, but it doesn't. The jury found that Huey Fung never intended to buy Underwood's 2017 crop supply. What was a wonderful relationship? Okay. Yeah, so he baby basically just did not. Yeah, he did not think this one through. Why would you? Huh? Did he just like in the moment wanted to still get these peppers from him while trying to see if he could. But 
But did it go into like the contract duration? The new contract duration? I don't mean, or like how did it work exactly? Yeah, he. So he tried to look for other a bunch of other little suppliers to get it for cheaper, like all these peppers and stuff, right? But I just want to know the timing for that. Like, did you do it? Try to by outsourcing? Yeah. But while you're having this contract ahead of time already happening? He signed the contract. Okay, and then found out he could get it cheaper. Did not honor the original contract. That's crazy. How How is it possible for you to sign something in business like that and then just be like, oh, never mind. It just said the jury didn't reasonably believe there was a contract, no? I thought there was a between this business built by this immigrant and this Is agricultural there? family that had been for generations growing food in Southern California turned into a horrible, ugly legal fight. Pivoting. Break your contracts. Increases the acres devoted to growing those peppers for him. I, I just think... If you've had such like a long-standing relationship, unless they try to increase the prices that much of the peppers where you're like, fuck, like they're too expensive or like you're kind of, it, it's off-putting that they increase the, the pricing of the peppers like that. But if it had been the same or if it's like, you know, not that much of an increase and you guys are still good and you had this like great relation and everything's going good. I feel like in business, that is so much more valued than than saving like a buck or two on trying to make unless it's not really that much of a buck or two but i think it's very rare to find like very good business partners and once you've had like that type of relationship for a very long time it's like why compromise either the relationship or the quality like if you know the peppers are good and like consistent and this guy is literally like gonna have more acres for you it feels kind of bm Hi. Jamaica decided to terminate its relationship with Underwood Ranches long before the end of the 2016 harvest and even flew a drone over Whoa. Underwood's crops to share his methodology with other growers. Whoa, that is way, that is actually so BM. To terminate its relationship with Underwood Ranches long before the end of the 2016 oh harvest my and God. even flew a drone over Underwood's crops to share his methodology with other Bro. growers. It was... An espionage operation concealed as just, you know, gathering more information. That for who is, yeah, is that legal? Is it? You can do that? Oh my God. The company wrote in an Instagram post on March 28th, 2019. In 2019, a jury determined that Hui Fong breached his contract with Underwood also committed fraud. Oh, oh, so they did have to pay up 23.3 million. Oh. Underwood Ranches, who Happy. had made high profits with its relationship with Huey Fung, decided to stop growing chili peppers for Huey Fung without any warning. Mm -hmm. In the end, Craig Underwood won a $23 million judgment As from they a jury should. that was in Ventura County in his backyard. But he also had to pay David Tran back the 1.5 million that Hui Fong says they overpaid. It was a That's much fine. bigger win for Underwood yeah, Farms. It was a much bigger loss for Hui Fong yeah. Foods. David Tran appealed. Craig even won on appeal. Damn. Since the verdict, Underwood Ranches started <laughs> growing a number of crops besides no. peppers. We didn't have much to grow on that land, but uh, in the intervening years. We've taken on a lot of uh, contracts. We're growing, this year we're growing uh, almost a thousand acres of cannery tomatoes. I mean, yeah, they With nearly 30 years of industry knowledge, it was only natural for Underwood Ranches to begin making its own, yup, you guessed it, sriracha. Wow. <laughs> so this is the first sriracha that we developed. This was actually the first sauce as well. This wild, is made the wild, oh my God. For 28 years. Sriracha isn't a trademark, so Huey Fung can't prevent competitors from creating a similar chili pepper That's sauce. That's crazy. Oh, it's sriracha, but it needs to taste like sriracha. Basically, the base of sriracha is you've got your vinegar, you've got your garlic, you got your jalapeno notes to it.
Yeah, and like Underwood it. Ranches, there are and a variety then. of other brands that sell sriracha sauces in stock at most grocery stores. Yeah, it's like a hot sauce is, after it. all, a $2.6 billion industry and Damn. has grown at an average rate of 2.5%. Oh my percent God, it only increases. You know what helps grow this? Those hot sauce challenges. All the content creators. <laughs> <laughs> Most interesting is whenever there's a story on, on either the internet no, or it's like on, barely like, anything, let's say Reddit, but... um, our computers basically break Come down. Command version, the really? It's good. People understanding the relationship of what we had and that, that we the were packaging the could grower. use some work though. Since Underwood Ranches has diversified its crop production while simultaneously producing its own hot sauce, it has needed to purchase peppers from external sources to keep. Did they really need to put the dragon on it, like a fucking creature of the Chinese culture or something. Up with supply needs. <laughs> We've been getting jalapeno peppers Jesus out Christ. of Mexico for In case many years. Know. We've had no problem getting peppers. Jalapenos Asian, are tricky by the way. to grow. So it really requires some know-how about uh, the best way to establish your Ooh, stand. Taste says, yeah. Did you have someone who's uh, inexperienced, who's trying to grow jalapenos? I don't think I eat sriracha enough, though, to like, taste test they it. I've had it, but if you ask me to like remember the taste great. distinctly, I don't think I can. See, the relationship the between Underwood so and Cran may be irreparable, but consumer demand for sriracha is rooster. only getting bigger. Domestic hot sauce industry revenue is like expected to continue growing uh, at an average rate of 1.5%, doesn't have reaching like a giant paper label on it. in 2028. The tough thing is that, you know, there really isn't a short-term solution here. Companies and agribusinesses are going to have to rethink. Make your own hot sauce. Um, yeah, you can make a products. hot sauce tailored to you. These like new grower relations that uh, the a lot of people make their own spicy like chili oil uh, come through for them. I do think that they'll be able to do a mm -hmm. full pack of the sriracha sauce this year, and so hopefully this this will be the last year of the sriracha shortage. While the sriracha shortage out of Huey Fung Foods clearly stems from a complex web of supply-related issues, consumers are seeing agricultural shocks in the food industry on a more regular basis. I think hot sauce Society, is really one of like the easier sauces to make, like to have your own brand and kind of uh, have it have a higher chance of being successful because like ketchup you're so used to, there's like one way you really taste ketchup if you have another type of ketchup it's not it's likely not gonna do as well because people are looking for that distinct like specific taste um but hot sauce is so subjective more is more it feels more like subjective so like based off of or if you like like more garlic, like more whatever, like it could be sweeter, it could be more uh, spicy. Like there's way more range of it, it seems. So it's like easier for people to have like a m different taste to it. Like ketchup, I don't feel like you could really, you could have like a slight range, but it's not as big. We have to start investing oh, pink in sauce? science, what is research pink and sauce? technology to help uh, mitigate is it the effects like of ketchup and mayo, or support. is it sriracha and mayo? Like a little bit of it. There's ketchup. What the fuck is pink sauce? Hi, Elfie. Yeah. What is pink sauce? Oh god. The fuck is this? Like it does not Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Ann Reardon and this it's is not FDA approved. We have a look at viral videos from we got like six million views in less than a week. So naturally people were no, curious, I did not. what is making this sauce so pink if you're not using food coloring? What does it taste like? Wait, so you're not using food coloring on this? For $20 a bottle. And it seems like 
after that everything rapidly went wrong so let's have a look at all the claims about this source and see which ones are true and which ones are false so firstly there were claims about shipping problems the first batch appeared she created to have been the sauce and was selling it packaging and because of that some of the bottles i mean 20 dollars for sauce is not this. like the for worst if it's like a novelty type of thing like a uh, uh or like if the sauce is really like i think i think people would be down because you don't you can use a, sp a sparingly smaller amount of it to make you not feel as bad for spending 20 dollars on that but it's just a matter of and people would pay that um for content and stuff too it's like pink sauce like oh whatever people pay 20 dollars for a fucking Hailey bieber's smoothie at air one so they can make tiktoks out of it Jeff P apologized and offered a refund or a new bottle and subsequent batches <laughs> yeah, were at, sent out abysmal. in cardboard boxes instead. So yes, that was a true claim. There was issues with the packaging early on and they seem to have been fixed fairly quickly, but it was a true a claim saga to on this? Tick there as to yes for the packaging issues. Moving on to the next claim. Oh, so first yeah, of all, the... 444 serving, well, like... but the serving size is one tablespoon. That's around 28 cups. Wait, what? I've never seen this type of measurement. 444 servings per container. Wait, is that normal? Is that how they... Wait. Hold. Hold the phone. I'm gonna take my mustard over here. Ahem. Okay, this bottle of mustard, all right, the size of my face. 79 servings per container one teaspoon they tell you one teaspoon this thing 444 servings for one tablespoon i'm sorry what in the fuck oh that label is not yeah, so correct. It, it's which gotta means, be 44, is right? anything else on the label actually correct? There is nothing in the label about refrigeration, nor- I mean, I just think you really can't fucking typo a nutrition label though, right? Like, it's literally, like, a nutrition label is one of the most important things because people live or die based off of that for, like... Yeah. Nor is there an expiration date on the label. Vinegar is also spelled incorrectly. Right. <laughs> Vinegar is spelled incorrectly and no expiration date. So there was a Bro, few things there. Bro, there's, there's no way this is Let's approved. Let's the label and take a look. Can you They're sell right. this? The number of serves in this packaging is definitely wrong. As for the expiry date, it's not here, but you can see a sticker with an expiry date on the lids of some of the bottles in the review videos. So that's, that's fine as long crazy. as it's got an expiry date on it somewhere. That is so janky. If we look so back at the label, there are other problems here too. Like there is zero grams of every type of fat, but that somehow adds up to one gram of total fat. And it says there's three grams. Somebody, like there's a clear... There's no scientist that worked on this sauce, but I mean, like, or, <laughs> yeah, math, math, math is not mathing here. Is this girl math? Grams of total carbohydrate, but there's 11 this is grams girl of math. sugars. That 11 grams there's one gram of fat, is total, so that just means that there's no gr 11, zero grams of fat. Three. It's just not there. And if we look at the fat, fat has nine calories per gram. There's one gram of fat, so that would equal... Yeah, this is dumb fuck math, it's true. Three grams of carbohydrates, but there's 11 grams of sugar. And the... And the dietary fiber is only four grams. It doesn't make any sense. Math is really not mathing here. Nine calories. And for the carbs, let's go with the 11 grams, not the three. There are four calories per gram of carbs, so that would be 44 calories. There's no protein, so zero calories there. Uh -huh. And that adds up to 53 calories per serve, not 90 <laughs> calories. <laughs> so yes, that is a fair criticism of the source. The was <laughs> this is a meme. This right. is not this real. I don't response. believe that this is My real apology. life. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. It's about 30 servings per container. 
we fix my my issues. favorite apology from people is when they say i'm not perfect like i don't think that's ever like no everyone knows that like a person is not perfect but it's like when people have to say that or when you have to be like yeah i'm not perfect it's like no well like yeah of course no one is perfect but like you fucked up you know what i mean like you guys will not be receiving pink sauce bottles with the bad label apologizing is a great start but i can see with the new label that she's flashing around there it still says 90 calories i can't read all the details but i can tell the nutritional information is still totally so number, yeah like, so yeah. if you've made an error on the label maybe check everything with a fine tooth comb before reprinting just say you okay, understand like how one. big of a fuck up it Look is like i'm sorry like blah Look blah at... yeah it's pink i feel like when people say it's... i'm not perfect it feels almost like like shifting the blame to being like i'm just like any other human who also makes mistakes like you're just it feels like you're a little like you're not fully taking accountability for it or you're kind of like yeah i fucked up but so what ish a little bit it's pink sauce now look at it again like everyone fucks up why is it pinker why does the color keep changing if you mm. ain't got the recipe straight if your formula ain't formulated properly yet you ain't ready for market chef p's initial response to this was the color didn't change just the lighting now while i agree lighting can have that a does not look good at all and i like, like pink and so can what settings you put the camera on as you can see here you can get a bright pink all the way through to a pale pink from the same photo depending what your settings are but it does yeah. change the look of the whole photo i mean not that's that's normal source. that's just like coloring he later said that she had made changes to the recipe a lot of people said they wanted the bright pink sauce not a pale pink sauce so mm. we'll take that one as a valid thing the next claim or rather product. a question that people are asking is is chef p even a chef <laughs> well, I'll let her answer that one for herself so i asked my friend would he hire me to be a private chef and the next day he called me he was like yo you got a jacket and then i was like hell no nah, but i could go get one I like the right. store right across the street hey, i don't house. i don't so, think like, you need to be like a chef to make a sauce i mean it would be more credible but like fuck if if you told me like if two guys at their apartment just like uh, fuck around and like make a sauce and like wait this tastes hella good like and then they just remembered what they put in it i would that's totally fine if the sauce is fucking good you don't gotta be like fucking graduated from culinary school or like whatever the fuck like unless you claim you're a chef that's different uniform you claim you're a chef real truth. i didn't go to culinary school I am a private chef, which means that I do more elaborate, intimate dining situations, you know? Um, I am a mixologist. I am mm -hmm. a certified bartender. My first uh, private dining client, like his friends that uh, I went to go cook for him and his girlfriend, <laughs> I literally still cook like for food? them till this day. Oh, okay. my first client. All right. Three so years ago. Unfortunately, there is no accrediting board that looks at whether someone is a chef or whether they're not. If you want to be a doctor or a nurse or anything like that, there's a board that accredits your qualifications and says, yes, you can work in that field. But that doesn't happen with chefs. So if her boss wanted to let her buy a chef's jacket think, and call herself I think, a chef. I think that's totally fine. I don't know about this part of the thing where it's like, oh, they have to be a chef or like we have no way to validate if they're a chef. Like, I don't think that fucking matters Jeff, that with much. No training and no prior experience, you can actually do that, which There's, will be the frustration. I just see it kind of like like software, like uh, computer science or something, where like you don't need to go to school necessarily. Obviously, going to school like helps a lot, especially as a chef. They teach you very like proper ways to do things or like rules or culinary things. But you can be self-taught totally when it comes to cooking. You know, that's that's of every chef listening who actually has a qualification and years of experience but 
there you go that's how it is so does that affect pink sauce well possibly yes. yes because had she done training she may have had a bit more knowledge on food yeah, don't use the title for marketing purposes i don't need to do that to that's what i mean like if you claim you're a chef or if you claim that you're like whatever that's now, totally different than like more to do you're like oh yeah i made the recipe. sauce you know is the recipe <laughs> itself fake in order for mayonnaise to get that really creamy thick texture and that opaque white color there needs to be an emulsifier mm. i'm really good with dressings so i was thinking there has to be mayo or at the very least mustard in it and then i came across this video which you see something that looks an awful lot like mayo and if you look at the ingredients list there is nothing that looks like this listed here even if this is not mayo at the very least she is using something that's not here to give it that particular color Water, sunflower seed oil, raw honey, distilled vinegar, garlic, pataya, pataya, pink Himala Himalayan salt, sea salt, less than 2% of dried spices, lemon juice, milk, citric acid. Yeah, nothing is really falling under white goop, uh... Color ingredient. One thing was certain, this was not the sauce that Chef P is using. The color is purple, not the Kirby pink that we were hoping for. Dragon fruit, while it provides color, is and a watery water fruit and left us with a broth. But this sauce always appears as a creamy sauce. It's opaque, and it has a similar consistency to honey mustard, ranch, or mayonnaise. And yet, the ingredients list on the package contains nothing that would create a sauce that looks like this. Chef P uses mayonnaise as the base color to get that pepto she forgot. pink. I mixed our buddy hidden Valley why did they Ranch, just call her chef peas that's supposed to be her name together so none of them managed to figure out a recipe that used just the ingredients on the label to come up with a nice thick pink sauce so they came up with the conclusion that she must have just been using mayo and mixing in some of the dragon fruit powder to give it that pink uh. color normally i can look at a recipe and tell you whether it's real or fake straight off without even trying but this one uses something that i have never tried to use in a dressing before which is dragon fruit. So I'm gonna to have to do some experiments. The main ingredients in ranch and mayo are oil and water, but they don't mix together very well. To make an emulsion of the two, you would normally blend the water and then slowly Sorry, thank you for the, the raid. Slowly being the key. You can't just Hope dump the oil you had a good stream, thanks for the raid. It's not going to create an emulsion. This is an emulsion of just oil and thank water. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And see how it now looks white and thicker and creamier than water does. Oh, but thanks. this is not a stable emulsion. Over the next hour or so, it you had a back great out stream. into the layers of oil oh, and water. Now, to saw, solve saw, that saw, problem, you can use an emulsifier. What did you guys And play? that helps keep the emulsion stable. It keeps all those little droplets separate so the oil doesn't just come back do. together. I've got three emulsions here. This one is just the water and oil with nothing else added to it. And you can see it's already starting to separate back out. Wait, I'm this missing this. This one has a quarter of a teaspoon of egg yolk. I came Sorry. up with the conclusion that she must have just been using mayo and mixing in some of the dragon fruit powder to give it that pink color. Normally I can look at a recipe and tell you whether it's real or fake straight off without even trying, but this one uses something that I have never tried to use in a dressing before, which is dragon fruit. So I'm going to have to do some experiments. The main ingredients in ranch it. and mayo are oil and water, but they don't mix together very well. To make an emulsion of the two, you would normally blend the water and then blend slowly the water? drizzle in the oil slowly being the key you can't just dump the oil and water into the blender oh honestly i didn't know that i didn't know that you could in a way actually mix water and oil i thought no matter what it would separate hi Jane. and turn it on or it's not going to create an emulsion this is an emulsion that's, of just oil okay that's kind of cool and water it will and eventually it okay white and thicker and creamier uh, than water does. after a certain amount of time but this is not a stable emulsion over the next oh, yeah. hour or okay, so not it stable. will settle back out into the layers of oil and water now to solve that problem you can use an emulsifier and that helps keep the emulsion stable it keeps all those little droplets separate so the oil doesn't just come back together uh -huh. i've got three emulsions how here. do you do that this one is just the water and oil with nothing else added to it and you can see it's already starting to separate mm -hmm. back out 
This one has a quarter of a teaspoon of egg yolk in it. Oh. Egg yolk contains lethicin, which is an emulsifier, which is why a lot of mayonnaises and sauces have eggs in them. Oh my if god, she's a real scientist. Egg Dude, is not listed pink as sauce lady really should have hired her. Sauce, though, so that is not what she used. To this next one, I added a quarter of a teaspoon of soy lethicin, which soy is an option if you don't want to use eggs. And you'll see this on ingredients lists as emulsifier E322. Again, that's not on her ingredient list, so not what she used. To this one, I've added a quarter of a teaspoon of up. mustard, which is a possibility in the pink sauce because she has spices listed mm. and doesn't say what they are. And finally, in this one, no, you can I can't be a scientist. Guess what's in it. No. Before I mixed the oil with the water, I added a quarter of a teaspoon of dragon fruit powder to the water. Just one hour later, I could see that the mustard and the dragon fruit were starting to separate already, so I decided to make up a mixture using the fresh dragon fruit and the oil and make an emulsion that way and see what happens with that one. While we wait to find out, let's this do is, a this is hunt. This can is about you... how this pink sauce is made. So the person who made pink sauce basically fucked up the nutrition label um and then also on the under the list of ingredients had a mayo like consistency in how they were making it but did not list anything of that sort in the under ingredients that could produce that type of consistency or that type of mayo like sauce so they're like how did she make it without kind of using mayo or some type of emulsifier like that that's not listed under the ingredients. Sieve and test tubes. If you like hunting for things, today's sponsor June's oh. Journeys and <laughs> others. Is it much easier? You know if you get wow, to do you guys want to play this game? game. <laughs> <laughs> it it looks like a, a hey, it's Farmville. Island. Okay, back to our emulsions. Three hours later, and the fresh dragon fruit and oil has formed a very stable emulsion. It hasn't separated. Oh, it's totally fine. Out. Okay, sorry, you can't see it, but has some separation. This is this this one's being chilling for sure. Powder, and the mustard is not great with that small amount of mustard. Oh in yeah, the mustard ain't doing shit. The soy lecithin is very soy lecithin and egg white stable even with that tiny amount which is why it's so popular and the egg yolk is pretty good but it probably needs more egg yolk than i put in it and of course the straight oil and water has separated completely so now let me run that test again with two teaspoons of freeze-dried dragon fruit i only used a quarter of a teaspoon last time oh look sorry one sec that. my food is here your beat i will be right back Right, I'm back. Ooh, wow. I already ate a so little bit, like so I probably won't eat too much. There's something in the dragon fruit, probably the pectin, that is acting as an emulsifier. Even four hours later, it is yeah. still stable. I and got so you guys. Is the one that used the fresh dragon fruit. So that means that she doesn't need to list an emulsifier on her ingredients list because the dragon fruit is the emulsifier. So to everyone who said that her sauce was impossible, <laughs> it's actually entirely possible just with the ingredients that she had listed. Of course, I've only made impossible a dragon fruit recipe. Water, so that's going to taste pretty bland Confirmed. and not very nice. If you want it to taste like a ranch, you're going to have to add in the rest of the ingredients, like some powdered garlic and maybe a bit of mustard. Oh my god, utensils? This is the first time I got utensils from this place. Usually the people who deliver never give you utensils. How your sauce tastes is going to vary completely 
depending on how much and what you add here as far as the flavorings. I'll put the proportions that I used on the How to Cook That website. Once you've added your dragon fruit in there, you need to slowly drizzle in the oil with the blender running so that you can create that emulsion. Emulsion. And then you get a wow, really so thick, useful. opaque pink sauce. We no all learned how to make mayonnaise no or like some sauce just today. The ingredients she had listed on the bottle. Let's give it to Dave to taste. It's got cool. Well, they weren't uh, kidding about it being pink sauce, were they? That is uh, a very 80s hot pink. Here we go. That's got Here cool. Dunk. I would buy this one. Actually made by a scientist. Mm. Is it sort of a bit ranch, like a ranch sauce? Spicy, but I thought she only put... A little bit spicy. With sort of westerny type of sauce. It's okay. Let's look at the next claim. I suspect that mayo may be acting as more than just an ingredient. You notice the yellow capped squeeze bottles that the pink sauce comes packaged in? Why wouldn't your pink sauce have, oh, I don't know, a pink lid? Yellow is nowhere to be found in her brand. Unless your main ingredient is mayonnaise and you happen to have a ton of these yellow capped bottles just sitting around. <laughs> Repurpose the old mayo bottles, wipe off the label, boom! You've got yourself no a brand new shot. product. If you're rushing a new product to market, you really don't have time to wait for custom pink lids to be made. This is, this is, this just gets better and better. Like, it's actually such a meme. There's, <laughs> oh, wow. You just have to buy bottles that were already available, like these and she's, bottles she's with efficient. yellow lids and the seals in them. If you have a look at the review videos, you can see that the bottles are sealed when people are getting them. So it's sealed. Okay, there's no air coming in or out of it. They are definitely not reused mayonnaise mm -hmm. bottles. That claim is completely okay, false. It's false. The next claim is a lot more serious and it has to do with the safety of the product. Oh, and this is definitely a serious and That was real. Do that would be not God here. eat the pink sauce. Or not. Do not eat that sauce. Read up on botulism right now. Huh? And Chef Pie, Carly, suspend all orders immediately. Well, everyone in digital commentary land is out here telling you all the reasons that consuming the product is dangerous, which, let me be clear, it absolutely is. You should not buy this stuff and definitely don't consume it. Now, a lot of the fears around pink sauce came from an interview with Ben Chapman from North Carolina University, where he said... In food like this, when you see low acid foods like raw garlic or dragon fruit being put in a high oil content, We've seen similar products lead to botulism in the past without any acidification of those low acid foods. The real key to his statement there are the words without any acidification. Now, what? yes, there have been cases of people getting botulism where they've chopped up garlic and put it in oil to use it as garlic oil. But that is not what she is making. You can buy garlic aioli at the shops and you can have garlic flavours in all different sources and there isn't the risk of getting botulism. I thought garlic and oil is like hella common. How how is that not like how is that how was this a problem? Like garlic and oil. So why is that? Well, it's all to do with the acid level. If you have a pH of 4.6 or less, raw the garlic and oil oh, like not so garlic or oil. not grow and make the toxin that causes botulism. So if it is acidic, then you are fine. Now, an acid level of 4.6, if we have a look at a pH scale, 4.6 is not that high. A tomato would come in at four, Especially and room coffee temperature. would come oh. in at five. So sort of halfway between a tomato and a coffee, if you can think of it that way. Okay. Now, of course, water I didn't know and that. the oil that she's I actually using didn't know that starts in general. out as about a seven at the neutral right in the middle there. But then if you look on the ingredients list, we're adding vinegar, which is of course an acid, and lemon juice, which is an acid. And on the ingredients, you've also got citric acid listed, which is acid. So mm -hmm. depending how much of that you add, you are shifting it down the scale so that you have a lower pH and making it more acidic. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know what proportions of ingredients Chef P used, but if she used a standard like homemade garlic oil, they just so the garlic recipe, and oil. It's going to be sitting down and just low around. frying it in oil. Oh well. I think it's because I've seen people would leave um, 
like put a bunch of garlic in oil but they also mix probably other things in it that either brings up the acidity or changes it so that it's not like it's not just gar like raw garlic and oil there's some type of other things in it that makes it balances it out and you're three and a half to four so very much in the safe zone and no issue for botulism mm -hmm. now I don't know I don't have her sauce so I can't test it but what I do know is a lot of people ate this sauce mm. and a lot of people reviewed it and there were no cases of botulism well, reported yeah. so oh no that is, is not... right that's right I should recall the TikTok that I saw in terms of it was making like a jar of um like future garlic oil they could store they did put in a pot and they cooked it first yeah I didn't know that was a thing that you can't put raw garlic with oil. Something that you back. can say. She was going to kill That's people not very intuitive, no. or that's not very fact, obvious, IMO. Those acids in it, because they're, they're both very like common that used that ingredients that seems like, oh, you could put it in but there. But if you're familiar with pink sauce, you'll know that there was quite a lot of reports of people getting sick from having pink sauce. I mean, just look at these video titles. The pink sauce mm. is killing people. TikTok's oh pink sauce hospitalizes 13-year-old. And... A TikTok pink sauce nearly hospitalized me. But when you watch those videos, none of them are about personal accounts or stories of a person eating pink sauce and getting sick. They are actually just clickbait trying to get views based on pink sauce and are talking about pink sauce while gaming or doing other things, but the person who made the video has not got sick. Mm -hmm. There was only one post I could find on Reddit by Mama Wolf saying that her 13 year old daughter had got sick and was in the hospital. If we search yeah, for the user, Mama Wolf, really she no player, longer exists, not high enough for five, which right. makes it very likely that this was a fake post and not a real post. There was also another guy who faked his own death with the cause of death being eating mm. pink sauce and then later owned up to the fact he was still alive. I'm not dead, so first and foremost, I want to say sorry if I scared you all. I mean, that was my intent, but like not like this. Uh, second off, I want to say to Chef P, sorry if this scared you at all or impacted your business in any way. That was never my intent. That's crazy. I have searched and searched, and apart from those two false accounts, I cannot find any accounts of people getting sick from that, eating That is sauce. wild Now, that lots you would of do people that. videoed themselves eating it and reviewed it, and none of them came back and said that it made them sick. So to the claim of the source making people sick or even killing people, that is a false accusation. Now on to the next claim, which is that Chef that? P herself has acted unprofessionally towards one of her customers, specifically Ali, who did a review on the product and with all of the storm around saying people got sick from it, decided to send it for testing. Am I going to die? Is it safe? I would be so interested to sending this to a food safety um, testing lab, and I think it's like $300. I'm willing to send this to wow. be tested. Now, I actually think that was a fair thing to do because mm -hmm. of all of the rumors that were circulating yeah, around fine. at the time. But unfortunately, she didn't send the bottle unopened. She'd already opened oh. it. She'd already stuck her finger in it. And you can't oh. send something for testing at that stage. She's never yeah. actually released the results from it. So I'm assuming there was nothing untoward in it. However, mm -hmm. she did go on a talk show with Chef P. You oh. contacted me and I could have turned around. And I'm not a hateful You're person. You're saying that you contacted me. No, I'm saying you I didn't never contacted received... me. Okay, but why would I contact someone who's fabricating something on the but internet? Nothing You're, was fabricated. You, to be honest, you're not special you're not special i think i'm gonna have to agree with that claim that was not a good way to speak to a customer and ali if you are watching you are special. <laughs> i actually think you handled yourself with amazing maturity and calmness in what this could is only a be fucking god show bro interview so well done to you i think this you is came a out shit show great <laughs> so back to pink sauce were there mistakes made on Chef P's behalf? Yes, there definitely were. But was that then escalated, exaggerated and taken to the level of false claims and possibly defamation? Yes, I think there was too. And unfortunately, once that internet churning wheel of hate starts it's very hard to slow it down and same with misinformation so i actually don't know how she is still smiling and coping after six months of 
pile on, I think that she's actually an amazingly strong person to be able mm. to cope with that. She's actually just signed a deal wow. with a sauce company to make her pink sauce. No way, wow. And because of the mountain of negativity and misinformation that she has been subjected to, I actually hope that it goes really You know, she does seem like she has fairly thick skin. Nothing happened with her sauce? No, I don't think... Well, they said that... Okay, so people didn't actually get sick from the sauce. Um, it's more like... Her, her nutrition label was wrong. The list of ingredients was wrong. It didn't make people sick, but you should definitely list like the right things because people are like allergic to things and all that kind of stuff. You can't fuck up like a nutrition label with ingredients or um, people who are on diet, certain diets or can't go over certain like fats or ca carbs or any of sugars or any of that because that's really serious. Um, but yeah. I think that's like the most you should have gotten flack for, not like the whole someone fucking pretended they died because of pink sauce. Like, that's wild. That's actually insane. Now she has drama with the company that she, oh, that she's working with. Really well for her. With thanks to my yeah, patrons, it really doesn't stop, huh? For your unbelievably amazing support and encouragement, I really appreciate That is actually wild. Oh, what food am I eating? Uh, I'm. I Welcome have. To how to cook that. Oh. oh God. What is pink sauce? Just rage quit the pink sauce. Wish you rage. I think quit. it's safe to say the entire story of Chef uh, B and the pink sauce is just a master class on I how to. I have a a, a skirt steak. This video from Chef. Where she went on a Delicious. very long and unhinged rant that didn't really add up. And Chef B also threw out some wild accusations like she was defrauded, not paid, and so on. Long story short, these people defrauded me. But she did acknowledge that Dave's Gourmet paid her $120,000, but because she had to pay rent, that doesn't count. I want to acknowledge this $120,000 that they've received. I never heard of it either, but apparently it was like popping all over TikTok me. and so stuff. So number one, it wasn't an upfront payment of $120,000 straightforward. It was, it was sent to me partially. And then also a huge chunk of that money went towards me paying for Airbnb and paying for hotels because mind y'all, I was homeless for six months. Okay, I don't know what planet she's on, but just because you have bills, that doesn't mean that your payment didn't count. I guess- Yeah, I... <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to being an adult. You make money to pay bills and the cycle goes on. But Dave's Gourmet- Not only did I get paid, but I had to pay my bills actually made a response to Chef P's unhinged rant where they just lay out the entire timeline from That's their crazy. point of view. That's and this wild. answers a lot of our questions that we've been speculating for almost a year now. And here it is, Dave's response to Chef P and Pink Sauce. In August 2022, Dave's Gourmet LLC signed an agreement with Veronica Shaw for her entity's Pink Sauce LLC and Flavor Crazy Incorporate, in which Shaw was responsible for promoting Pink Sauce through digital content and Dave's Gourmet was in charge of achieving the required shelf stability for the product, making the formula acceptable for commercial production and following FDA's food production guidelines. Production and sales of the pink sauce product online and to retailers. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They saw how much buzz was around the sauce and I guess they just thought, hey, if we fix this sauce, it'll be a success. Mm -hmm. So they didn't really calculate how much of a disaster of a business owner they were about to partner up with. But it continues by saying, at the time, Shaw was not producing pink sauce because the FDA instructed her to cease all production due to quality <laughs> concerns. Okay, so now it's essentially confirmed that the FDA did actually show up and shut her down. She was making yeah. 
yeah, pink sauce in her not kitchen it. and was shipping it without refrigeration in the heat of summer and the sauce frequently went bad during shipping as no evidenced by many shot. social media posts from buyers. The sauce was not shelf stable and was not safe for shipping without refrigeration. This was huge negative publicity online That's and on disgusting. social media due to the quality issues that Shaw had experienced. That part we've covered a lot where the sauce showed up looking like this. No, ma'am. No. Oh my God. Look. Look at this! I no have gloves on, but we're still putting hand sanitizer on. So Dave's Gourmet is really and saving her here because that is just so much of a disaster. But now Dave's Gourmet goes on to detail on their deal. According That's to the crazy. agreement, Shaw received an upfront payment of $45,000 as a part of the agreement for Dave's Gourmet to pursue the Absolutely sales of pink sauce. Wild. According to the agreement, Ms. Shaw was responsible for all the refunds for the products that predated the agreement. After the agreement was signed, it turned out that neither Shaw nor her entities had enough funds to cover all the refunds to the people who never received the product that she was responsible for, according to the agreement. It is in our best belief that Shaw was fully aware there were not enough funds to cover the refunds. What? <laughs> Did she spend the money before her customers even received the product? No way. How is this possible? Uh? Whatever. Yeah, continuing. There was a hold put by Shopify and PayPal on most of the cash on her accounts due to multiple customer complaints. And even the cash that was there was mostly not available to pay refunds. Do products with powdered Dave's milk need couldn't see the to be refrigerated? I don't know. I should don't. Customers disappointed with no product and no I'll refunds, it so it provided an approximately um, $30,000 to cover the refunds, even yeah, though this was Shaw's responsibility. Yeah. Okay, according to this, Dave's Gourmet really saved her. So she owed her customers enough money to where the $45,000 didn't cover it, so they needed to give her an additional $30,000. Oh boy, she was really in the hole. Some of these funds came back to Dave's Gourmet after the hold of Shaw's account was lifted by PayPal and Shopify. Prior to entering the partnership with Dave's Rick Gourmet, Rick Shaw reviewed and negotiated the contract is, with help from her my attorney. Guess is According no, but that's only based off of the logic of powdered milk not being refrigerated normally in the first place. And even after you open it, you don't have to, but. Okay, yeah, it says. Uh, the purpose of drying milk is to preserve it. Milk powder has a far longer shelf life than liquid milk and does not need to be refrigerated due to its low moisture content. But this is just regular milk powder that's just like, it doesn't say in, like a product made from milk powder or with it. So I'm not sure. I guess once it has moisture to it, once it's, then would that would that just make it kind of have milk contents? Yeah, that seems like it's right that you would have to store it after. Yeah. It's the contract. Shaw receives royalties that depend then on no, the sales maybe of pink sauce. Then, yes. And also, there is a milestone payment if certain goals are met. All payments have been communicated and paid on time in accordance with the agreement. Dave's Gourmet also advised Veronica that pink sauce royalties should not be her only source of income, as they can fluctuate and she should have a regular job to make sure that she has financial stability. Okay, that's reasonable. She continues her job as a chef and then she gets that extra avenue to monetize her social media media presence through the sauce. What could go wrong? Well, apparently a lot. At the time, Dave's Gourmet did not know if any sales would be generated from pink sauce. In the fall of 2022, Shaw was struggling financially. Dave's Gourmet wanted to be helpful and over the course of several months provided Shaw with multiple cash advances that total more than $40,000 without charging Shaw interest for fees. These advances were supposed to be offset by future royalties that Shaw was going to earn. So what was she doing during fall of 2022 on her social media account? Apparently, she she was partying on yachts. Hashtag Miami Yacht Life. <laughs> I love that there's Don Julio in the picture as well. Pink sauce money, baby. Who needs to refund customers who didn't get their <laughs> orders when you can just go it's, it's just so like the the person that you choose to work with or some the obviously the owners of the company just matter so goddamn much. Makes like a fucking night and day difference of how things are. Like, even if the person who ran the pink sauce had like all those problems of the nutrition label and whatever all that stuff had it have been handled a certain way or differently um then like it could have been received also very differently i don't know especially the customer thing 
all the other stuff later is just yachting duh this just goes to show you that social media is so fake often the people flexing are the ones who are just in no position to flex to begin with but it continues mm -hmm. on by saying in march of 2023 shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children and to avoid being evicted dave's gourmet How then sent her two advances that total five thousand dollars but again encouraged her to continue working her other job and pursue her private chef career as she'd been doing prior to partnering commercially to produce the pink sauce oh no so she's just a money pit for them like the fact that she signed this deal and wasn't daily uploading recipes that go well with the pink sauce that is just beyond me everything was set up for her all she had to do was address the rumors take accountability and start working now that the sauce isn't going to make people sick she just needs to market it but clearly she didn't shaw yeah. wanted to know more about the activities related to the pink sauce and the dave's gourmet in the beginning of 2022 dave's gourmet team set up a weekly standing meeting to discuss the brand strategy to support and collaborate That's with Shaw. Shaw attended only a couple of these meetings and has not been in attendance since. I'm genuinely confused into why here. This is her big break. She is literally collabing with a massive sauce company here. Why is she not using this opportunity? It's such a waste. I'm sure there's hundreds of small sauce businesses. I mean, we're, we're thinking of this all a little too logically. We're thinking of this all kind of like dude it only makes sense if you do this or like why didn't you do this but clearly there's just simply people who don't think that the US way. would be infinitely grateful for an opportunity like this they just need to figure out a way to go viral i just hope that chef p doesn't stop dave's from collaborating with other influencers in the future because this whole experience would probably leave a sour taste in their mouth but continuing with february 2023 veronica requested ten thousand dollars in marketing expenses to throw herself That's a birthday wild. party <laughs> you have to be joking there's no <laughs> way this woman's real how is she how does she make this much of a fool out of herself? And provided that a request so for Dave's great. Gourmet to pay for her dress that costs more than $800 and shoes which cost over $600, it would potentially be used for a TikTok video. Dave's Gourmet suggested a smaller budget, and because Dave's Gourmet would not approve of these expenses, Shaw refused to collaborate or contribute to marketing efforts alongside of Dave's Gourmet that, moving that, forward. How? There is no way. Did you not just need money or ask for money to feed your kids and pay rent? And now, like, but you Does want ten thousand dollars for the pink sauce because Days Gourmet didn't want to buy her a ten thousand dollar birthday party and buy her some like designer dress and shoes. Are you That's serious? <laughs> How is this real? This is so laughably stupid. I can't believe this. Why would you? ever self-destruct like that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and this is what she does with it this is an innovative brand this is an innovative product which comes with risk which means that money has to be yeah. allocated and put into marketing mm. the marketing is the company it's safe to say that Chef P's actions continue to surprise me, and it's definitely not in a positive way. Like, how does it keep getting worse? February of 2023, Shaw attempted to submit <laughs> business expense reports for personal yeah, expenses, know, right? like That's buying four insane. pairs of sneakers or expensing like, huh? her grocery bills. Dave's Gourmet informed her that such activities are fraudulent and asked a lot of questions related to receipts submitted. Shaw did Buying four pairs of sneakers or expense. Okay, I can understand expensing grocery bills if you're trying to like make TikToks or whatever with your sauce, but are you? Did not respond to any of those questions. It's still getting worse. How is this still getting worse? This is <laughs> May 2023. Due to the large advances on Shah's royalties owed to Shah, came to about $666.86. Dave's Gourmet decided to hold off on deducting $10,000 in advances from the royalties due until a later period so that Shaw has more funds to cover her needs at the time and instead pay Shaw $10,666.68. If this is true, this company is being extremely lenient with her. That is a yeah. very nice thing to do. This balance and all payments processed have been outlined and communicated to Veronica consistently. Dave's Gourmet deducted the above mentioned advances of $10,000 at the second quarter royalty payment. Okay, that's fair. June 2023, Shaw submitted an expense report to Dave's Gourmet that included a request for payment payment for her time dedicated to making social media content. Such a request was outside the terms of the agreement. Dave's Gourmet asked Wait, wait, wait. An expense to report that anywhere. 
Isn't that just like, wasn't that just her, uh, their agreement? clarifications related to the various expenses listed by Shaw. But backups, receipts, and explanations were not approved by Days Gourmet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's my understanding she's here. Like, the she's value like already, like her job was to market, was to market the sauce, the brand. And she's like, hey, can you now pay me for my time? Like, can you pay me on top of paying me for doing my job or like contributing to this? Dave's partnering with someone like the pink sauce girl is so they get free marketing or at least very cheap marketing. Clearly yeah. she's been a massive expense. But if she just made content to sell the sauce, she wouldn't be begging them for money because her royalty checks would be way larger. Exactly, this whole situation exactly. is just, it's such a shame. It's such a missed opportunity. Dave's Gourmet has kept this timeline of information private Wild. leading up to Veronica took to social media with defamatory statements regarding the integrity of our business, which has put us in an unfortunate position to share details that would have otherwise remain private. In total, Veronica Shaw has received over $120,000 in payments from her partnership with Dave's Gourmet and Pink Sauce since August 2022 to date. She had certain obligations to the contract related to the social media activities that she has violated multiple times, but Dave's Gourmet chose to not enforce them, not to create the illusion that she is- That is so nice of them. They, they actually like did God's work for her. That's insane. And she got over 120K. Not being compensated properly. Dave's Gourmet communicated to, to both Shaw and her attorney that Dave's Gourmet will cover the costs of Shaw's legal counsel to go through the provisions of the agreement to explain the payments were correct. And Dave's wow. Gourmet is following the agreement. This proposal was rejected by Shaw. Well, if this is accurate, she scammed everyone who donated to her GoFundMe because this is not the story that she was telling over there, nor in her video or her multiple unhinged rants that were posted True, on her she YouTube was channel. Rent, and on, so the 120 she had to use on rent and air. It's definitely going to be interesting to see if she tries Probably to sue Dave's Gourmet like she said party she party wanted herself. to do her GoFundMe and in this video where she went on an angry rant about them. But I guess Chef B just had a master. That's, that's, um, that's a lot of bullshit for the day, I think. Oh, that's, that a crazy. I handle it. Um, 120k royalties for 13 months is great, dude. Like, for her doing very minimal ideas, yes. Any soft ideas, dude, give it to me. I'll make real. Um, if the company wants to handle like all the logistics and all the pink so sauce stuff, fuck, I'll do the marketing. What the hell? How as long as the sauce tastes good, it'll be hella easy to market. You can throw me a $200 birthday party. I'll, I'll fund the rest myself. All right. You know, enough of that. I'm just, I just can't handle it anymore. Let's move on to some fucking League of Legends because we need to freaking win a game. Not after yesterday. So much pain, bro. I can't believe she raised $25,000. I mean, I, in general, all the money that went to her, how much of it went to her kids or other things? Yeah, she said she had kids or something. I'm like, okay, you want a 10K birthday party. You're asking people to help pay for all these things. Like, why? Is my league updating? Um, like, why couldn't you just use it for your kids?
Yeah, okay, I got turn on the fan. It's a little hot. So I'll log in. BRB. Yeah, maybe today will be different, right? God damn. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. My plan for my birthday? Uh, I don't really honestly have a plan. I'm debating on if I want to stream a little bit that day. I actually, it's kind of troll, but I have another birthday party that's happening on my birthday that I'm going to. It's my friend's birthday. So I'm going to my friend's birthday on my birthday. Because <laughs> I don't have anything planned. So I figured, you know, like I'll go. So I want to stream maybe a little bit before going to that and that's it. Yeah, I don't, I don't got much plans. I met like a recent friend, uh, sort of recent, but like um, his birthday literally the same day as my birthday. Time to pull out the 10k. Yeah, I don't know. This weekend, I have no idea. Maybe I'll like have a dinner or like something here and there. I, I don't. I literally planned zero. I just don't feel like doing anything for my birthday this year. I feel like I kind of have um, alternating uh, energies when it comes to my birthday by year. So. Last year, um, I actually had a birthday party with like Peter and Blau. And then the year before that, I didn't do anything really. I think I just had like people came over at midnight uh, two years ago. And then I just went and like maybe went shopping or chilled a bit with like Myung and someone else. And that was it. And I think it was like Leslie and Lily maybe. And that, and that was like literally it. Um, what do I ban? Oh, did someone sing it banned? Yeah, um... So, this year feels like it's like the alternating year. Like, it's the chill birthday year again. Where I don't really do anything. Yeah, though, sometimes you just care... You just have a... It's like a mood or feeling space, you know? Yeah, it's already looking great. Someone banned... <laughs> someone banned... What's the difference between the songs and Taylor's version? Are we about to watch a video on Scooter Braun and Taylor Swift a feud? Your birthday's on the 8th as well? A hey, what up? Um... Ooh, that sounds awesome. Happy early birthday, guys. Um... Yeah, so Taylor's basically... Uh, a lot of artists do not get to own their own music. It's their label company. Um, usually, usually their label company owns it, or they're, unless they sign some type of agreement where they get to, uh, they have the masters to their music. Um, but a lot of the earnings, a lot of the funds, portion of it goes to the artist, portion of it goes to the label, um, or whoever owns the masters of the artist. Stuff like Spotify royalties or like music used everywhere, um, all that kind of stuff. What do I want to play? Oh. Zaya.
Why is my thing kind of laggy? Um. Thank you. I don't want to play against Zaya. Um. What else was there? Yeah, but basically. Big Machine uh, was Taylor's old record label, and they, own, they owned her masters. And then she had been begging them for years and years and years to buy it, to, to sell it to her. Like, she could pay, she could afford to pay, like, any amount of money. She's fucking rich, you know? She could do whatever the fuck. But they just refused to sell it to her. And instead, sold it to Scooter Braun, who was how she felt. Someone who had bullied her throughout the years and is kind of like a felt like a male power thing where they just did not want to sell it to her um, and instead just sell it to someone else. And it's not like this guy would have paid like that much more than she would be. She would have been willing to pay. It was just more of like they just didn't want to fucking give it to her for whatever reason. Um, she got really mad at the situation because she found out she was not notified at all she found out the same time that everyone else in the world found out on the news and so she decided i'm gonna re-record my music um and she would fully own all of it uh so she started this thing where she started recording all of the previous albums that she didn't own so from taylor swift debut to uh, I think Lover? Oh wait, no. Was Lover the first album she owned? Oh yeah, there's not Lover, sorry. Uh, to Reputation? Or Lover? Is it Lover? I feel like she owns Lover. Yeah, it was the first one she owned. Yeah, yeah, So until, like, Reputation. Can she sue for that? No, because she doesn't own it. Not a lot of artists own their own music. Yeah, it's a record label. Because you get signed to a record label. First, you have to have a record label willing to sign you. And then in their contract, they're like, we're, we're going to own your music and all that kind of stuff. Um, which is why, actually, the biggest advice that a lot of people say for when you enter the music industry is get a good lawyer because of how that is. Um, right here. ones uh yeah so she started basically re-recording all of her music which is why everything that says taylor's version she owns and everything is fully hers and so a lot of people they say hey don't play her other one play taylor's version because they want to support her against scooter braun because she did this whole like confrontation thing with him too and he just denied everything and kind of I was like, oh, I don't know why she hates me, or I don't know why she did this to me. Like, I was nice to her, like, this whole time. But it's like, okay, if you care so much and you were nice, why the fuck are you, like, holding her master's hostage? Then give it to her, you know? Like, it's not like she can't pay for it. So what's stopping you if, you, if she could pay for it, right? If she could literally give you a fuckload of money. He's trying to play, like, good guy all like, oh, yeah, no, it's like... Yeah, no, good man. Blue. Totally would. Didn't know. My bad. Oh, I love Taylor's version stuff. Although some things you're such so used to like hearing it for as long as it sounded. Um like the way she says like a word or like brood some words, like so, or like ha emphasis on like whatever, but um her she's gone she's like a lot better as like a singer, so everything sounds good. She sounds more mature and she added other small things like different little harmonies or other instrumentals that are extra to it. Um, some of the like she she did this collab with uh, Ed Sheeran on Everything Has Changed. You can hear adjustments like his part is louder in it. Uh, is it? Oh yeah, it sounds amazing. The way she, she oh my god her. She's just like such a great singer now that 
so satisfying to hear. There's not like a ton of difference, but in some songs there are. So I'm like, wow, Taylor's version is just better. Yeah, she kind of, she's kind of cool or whatever. Me and Taylor, we, we go way back. Ghost. Oh fuck. I feel like we could totally hit you first, but if Oh uh, never mind. I fucking lied. Well at least Leona's not gonna hit it. So impatient with my farm right now. Uh huh. Oh, what the fuck? Awesome. Fuck you. My job is done. <laughs> Leaves the lane doesn't help me push. Whatever, man. An ally has been slain. God, it's bad. I can push it in. Maybe I could have, uh, with my heart. Like a curse, dude. Yeah, her Taylor version song is so good, especially Enchanted. Uh, Back to December is better. Everything has changed is better. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. There's a, uh, there's more because she's had more of her releases, but the most recent Speak Now one. Oh my god. So chill, man. An enemy has been slain. Okay. All right. It's so rusty. And drag. Oh yeah, it's not the normal map. Yeah, they're in drag. Gosh darn it. Oh my god, KDA randomly coming off. It's on it's on it's on shuffle too. Oh my 
my god. Exhausted Leona. You have slain an enemy. Double fuck. And dog is farming right now. I would love to get the plate, but <sighs> I can't go. Uh, it's so hard for me to feel like I'm focused on my screen. I think my eyes feel really tired. So hard for me to focus. God damn. Yeah. Sprinting it. My fingers also just don't feel like they're really working. Feel very clanky. Oh fuck. Look at that. Bro. Killing. Uh. I'm good. Alright. Brian, go top or some shit? Maybe he did. Oh yeah, Leon is missing. Just hit him with the spell. Shot right. Got the fragile egos. Am I just really that curse for my games? I could even be chat restricted to even type. Uh, 
tragedy. Base. Damn it, I want to ping Shaco to check on him, but. still get it epic let's stay okay honestly we're still doing great our team mental is stay afloat not like it fucking just dies every time. The hardest thing, honestly. Oh, <laughs> Yunky doink. Leona burst. Fuck. Totally earned. Not the curse of your games is the curse of League. Yeah, but like, still four games in a row. No way, man. Kind of crazy. Uh, she had. Oh, she only has like a remix with Elenium. I mean, she might have other tracks but i don't know yeah most is probably like remixes from other people other than like other than her bops her classic bops I guess we do have numbers. We could actually. Oh fuck! I didn't know we pinked it there. It kind of wasted a bit. Not bad. Oh, holy shit, scared me just to run. My frames, bro. My frames just stop dropping. I'm a dirty griefer. Someone here or something. Feels like they're baiting. Unless Fiddle's not here. Ooh, or we're baiting. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. Ooh, 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 minion. 
minions. Really? Oh my god, 11 HP. That's so sad. Oh, you got him. Dude. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. This. Not bad. Get good. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love the spirit. League of Legends spirit. I hate- I'm getting triggered though by my frame drop. Why do I have 70 frames? I'm not- I'm just walking the lane. Well, you're just farming. It's fluctuating too much. Your turret has been destroyed. Happened to you too? It was actually okay yesterday. I have like weird times where like my league is fine and then sometimes I stream in and it's just not it. But it's not consistent. A lot of times it's more often bad than it isn't. Than it is good. Good team smurfing is cool. The craziest thing was when Ariana Grande did that whistle note live. How good is she? she good. Shut down. Give me the fuck out. There's a CD on that fucking E, man. What's the CD on that? No, I'm not gonna make it for this red either. Ugh. Pain. Hey, PvP, what up? Ooh, warped chaos. Thank you for the raid. Yo, bro. There, that shit went bot. Can I make it? Oh my god, I'm kind of close. Holy shit, I fucking made it. Yeah, I mean, but if we don't try to, hmm. need Scion to possibly mirror more. Oh fuck! I almost predicted it. Oh fuck, I was off by a bit. No, I'm sad. He was kind of fucking off too. Yeah, I am. I kind of am. Getting a little strong. 
But Trin can still fucking one tap me. Zareth is really strong. He's he's a real carry. Uh, I get smacked by that guy once I'm dead. My ulti. You fuck this trend. Cleanse is freaking god tier this game. I love it. So good. Oh shit. Ooh, oh my god. Your team is just W, man. Just sprint it mid. I don't think I could D him top. I think he's just gonna dive me and I just die. I just fucking die. What's that? Oh. Oh my god, he's so strong. No ulti. Holy shit! Okay, I should not aid into him. Yeah. Holy fuck, I just thought I could literally kill him. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I fucking trolled. Fuck! Sorry, I think that actually could have been Baron. Oh, whoops. Fuck, that was Baron. Not the whole team seeing two. <laughs> Shame. Shame. <laughs> Sorry, it was me. I'm the problem. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Oh my god, I get fucking red too. I get rewarded for trolling. Damn. Wild. Actually, fuck. I should push. Get in. Drag. Uh, what a monster, dude. Salty. There you go. <laughs> nice, good kiting. Now he does it. Oh my god, my guy just fucking fell off the map, dude. Where did he go? Can we do this, honestly? What? They're all bought. Epic. 
Yeah, this earth is, uh... Work. Fuck, I'm so close. Um... One minion would have been would have been nice. We just needed one, bro. That's just like it's so pathetic. I have to wait here. <laughs> I'll switch <central. laughs> Oh fuck, even if I just got like another chicken man. I would have waited like a lot less. Alright. Middle right side. Oh fuck no. Your shit. Huh? Where'd he go? Did he go to the other side? <laughs> he just went opposite. He's so strong. Oh, they just FF. Noise. Oh. Get her! Ah, uh. you got. Thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you. Victory. Yeah, I mean when Zerth gets ahead, it's really hard to play against too. It's fucking does ten grilling damage from half the map. First win of the day. God bless. God, my brain feels so AFK. But we won! We broke yesterday's curse! Okay, we have to pee first. I'll be back. I know, finally! What the fuck was that? <sighs> Sad yesterday, man. I can't. I did it. We did it. We did it. All right, nice. We're freaking back. Wow. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. Sriracha. And it came with a with a green hat. That's supposed to be the cap. Like a little toque. Mm-hmm. 
No, I didn't play all night. Yeah. I'm I started the stream early today because I have a meeting in like two hours. So I wanted to have an early stream so I could squeeze in a stream of the day. Which worked out great. Thanks for being here. No shot. Arya is a is a like one of her kind. Hmm. Do you play Akali? I fucking love Akali. I'm bad at her, but she's she's one of my favorite champions to play. Hey, yeah, good to see you too. Yeah, it's like sometimes it's a little like, are you okay? It's a lot of hours. I mean, let's see. She did okay, so I felt like I was streaming a fuckload, okay? I think I did like 123 hours last month. I looked it up. Um, but didn't she do like 300 hours or something? Like, insane. I can't imagine doing double what it did. And I already felt like I was like, boom, eight hours, nine hours a day at times. And it's just like. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh... Okay, this game. I don't know what I'm picking into, but fuck it. I love playing Kate. Gotta laugh at the stupidity. Kaisa, Nautilus, the classic combo. I mean, it's like you could be a workaholic without streaming constantly but like she's like next level i that's definitely it's definitely like that's especially considering usually what also goes on behind the scenes that's like uh another tier so oh huh? Scuttle just kicked me to the curb. Wait, what? I don't get it. Grinding now just means more free time later. True, true. A lot of people say like, uh, um, current pain for future gain. And also it's probably not that like, it's still a lot, but I think grinding, um, streaming or other things, because if you enjoy it enough, like, it's not as terrible. Um, because a lot of it is really enjoyable. I mean, there are definitely other things too, but it's like, it can be very draining, but. I always like comparing, um, hmm. Like for streaming, whenever, uh, you know, there's like labor intensive things, uh, jobs where your physical body gets worn out over time, but for streaming, it's your mental that gets extremely worn down, especially over time. Uh, it's like, as time goes on, it's like harder to sometimes just keep the mo momentum of streaming or the mental of streaming after you've done it for so long. And just the wear and tear, like you kind of get jaded like quite quickly. Uh, there's a lot of things that you kind of just like, uh, like, you know. I love mental, mental battles. <laughs> Convince you as a clan. <laughs> yeah, it's wild.
Okay, um... Uh, let me see what I'm playing against. So oh, yeah, this one. Welcome to the Ziggs ADC, bro. <laughs> when I play Ziggs ADC, I feel like a bot. Like I'm not good at Ziggs. I don't really play Ziggs that well. But sometimes I just, I just, I just feel like a Q bot. I just pff, toss cues, toss cues, toss cues. That's just my role the whole game, and I'm just like, all right, that's just. Aw, thanks, Neo, but uh at least for me more so, I feel like it's a mutual thing. I feel like oftentimes um Minions have spawned. streaming and gaming itself is a job, but it's also an escape in some ways. And I feel like sometimes when I have a hard time through other things, like and I turn on stream, oftentimes I do feel a lot better, so and I have you guys think for that, so it's like a mutual, like, appreciative relationship in that way. When I always hear, like, people are like, oh, like, you were there for me through whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I say, well, technically, you guys were there for me, too, through a lot of things. No, no, it's that time of the year. I can't get emotional now. I gotta fuck up these people in lane. We gotta have aggression in our blood. Uh yet. Whoa, that's a crazy knowledge skin. What the fuck? Okay, I need to push this. Fuck. I don't know where I gotta hit too. First. We're not two first. It's bad. Don't fight. Oh my god. <sighs> like if we don't have two first, gotta just back off a bit. They're here. But the lane, the lane will push. Yeah, just play safe. Unfortunate. Oh, that's rolled there. That was great for us. Me like 10 billion years to one view on this Nautilus. Maybe I could have just went on the Kaisa. Honestly, it's fine. Like, he died, but she also misses a fat wave. Oh, gee. Does streaming make more extroverted or better? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just something for everyone. Extroverts love it because they love doing this, talking to people. Uh, and I think introverts get to maybe feel like a safe space to like express themselves. There's just like both great ways of doing so. Like, look at how many people are, like, a lot of gamers are introverted, so. Like, helps you bring, come out of your shell a lot. And, like, make friends and stuff in a way, in a space that you're, you're comfortable in. What the fuck? Fuck. I think I'm an ambivert, too. Okay, I'm definitely more extroverted, actually. I lean, I lean more extroverted. <laughs> But I definitely need also my time to like regain energy and chill a little bit. But the time for that is so little. Like I don't need a lot of time to regain 
It's usually just when mental is bad, but that's like anyone. Fuck. Man. No, if I hit the Nautilus. Damn it. Oh my god, any of them with that Q. Damn it. Fucked up. I fucked up. Extrovert, depending on who I'm with. Yeah, that's usually a lot of, um... It's a lot of introverts. It can be... They're, they're seemingly... Or like, similarly uh, extroverted when... They're with people they're comfortable with. Thank you, Pike. <sighs> My wave. Yes. Body so low. Oh, my God, a dub. Introverted until I'm with friends, then I turn into a psycho. Dude, that's hella normal. All of our friends are psychos. We're all crazy. Yeah, we watched God. Or I watched. Yeah, we watched God's last uh, yesterday's stream. I liked it. I like. It was pleasant. You know, I didn't look at it. and I was like, damn, this is dog shit. I didn't look at it. It was like I was. I fucking love this. But it's also like your first. Like my first time listening to the song it wasn't so bad. It was pretty good. Or, I mean, I like hearing, um, oh fuck, what's Rantelaine, like, hinted. Um, like, New Jeans is what sounds good in it. They sound great. Song itself, I just always, like, rise. Maybe bad to compare like that, but I always do. I like a more hype, upbeat world song. But the last couple of world song I felt had been a bit more chill. Saw that coming too. An enemy has been slain. Damn, Jaco is so Oh, I know about that. I'll see until six, Pike. Shut down. Killing <laughs> This guy's just fucking... Oh god, oh god, oh god, not the passive. No, what the fuck?! Dude, he's just always here! The tower time, what, what the... Ah, oh, I hate it here, man. Again. in case extroverted yeah he fucking loves people god damn it
And then the pike and the Nautilus always just pull each other. Okay, dude. Cled kinda doing work up there, man. Shit. Price of damage, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, you guys might wanna. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he lives. Oh, fuck. I'm clearly trolling. It's so hard there. I looked at the mini map. Yeah, that was, that was not it. I totally should have died. <laughs> So bad. Actually, so bad. Da, 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 da. No, I am bad. That was, that was not supposed to. It should not be a thing. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Slack is mid. I die. Okay, well. Chill in here. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, grief there. I should have stayed back. I should have just left it. Turret plating will soon fall. Ah! I agree for like that. Is that the tech now? You do static on everyone? Just watching your pieces die. Hmm, let's go. Ooh, that's kind of a sick cast skin. She's so she's like extra slithery looking. Oh, I should come back soon. Oh, she's at mid. Back top. All right. Cool. It's only an all this here. Do I do anything to this guy?
Okay, Geist is missing from mid. Oh, she's top. Where's Zed? Nice man. Wow, nice of you to be here in that bike. Fancy seeing you here in the bot lane. Tell him Kate's no good. Kate's no good. Don't play her. Oh no! Ooh. A fight breaking out like that. Oh, but Clud's here. Top lane, I mean. Whoa. Oh! Well, luck, man. Fuck! <laughs> Glad I can contribute this game. I just right click minions and get turret. The towers, that's my job. Ba -da -ba -da. Missing God. Dude, Cled is just 1v9. This is a topside gap. And we get dragged. Just flash out of that. There's a cast taking blue. There you gonna come. Oh fuck. Is this the Kled 1v9? <laughs> He's gonna kill them all. He's literally so fed. Like Hey, Chico, I think you gotta Oh? Damn, he almost went V9. Oh. oh. Yeah, I hate to see it. I'm glad I could be of help. Fuck. Lethality, Kaisa, and Worlds? Oh, yeah. The Umbral and like the Duskblade and stuff. That's fine. I like the builds too when you do get early Q evolve. It felt kind of a, a little awkward for a bit, I think, not having that. Unless you did, and I just built wrong because I didn't fucking like, up to date with what people are building. It changes so much. Oh, red. I'm scared though, kind of. I'll risk it for the rip.
Yeah, what a what a giga chat, am I right? Is an ambiver, is he? How do we describe him? Oh fuck. Waha! <laughs> uh, I laugh out of pain. Ooh, ooh. So is that Lux probably? No fucking way. No way. <laughs> Holy shit, if I was the Kaisa, I just fucking. Oh my god, what do we do here? This. Cass built a fucking bramble vest, dude. She's had up to here with us. Or not us, sorry, Kled. Yeah, what a red diff. Actually, I'm not watching. Ooh, X marks the spot. Hey, nice. Yeah, all me, man. Love it when I can contribute to the team. Oh my god. Team is just bit. So much fighting. What the fuck? I can kill him. No, I'm sorry. Really? I mean, I feel like Ezreal's always meta in Korea. Ezreal is just one of those champions that... They can play so well... It doesn't matter. Dude, we're winning today! I didn't do shit that game. Ziggs bought 90% of Worlds games? Wait, really? I miss my cues all the time, so I can't. <laughs> my bramble vest? Dude, I need fucking Zanyas or something, man. Against that team. <laughs> but it's fine. What do you think about Jinx? I actually don't know how Jinx is playing AD right now, but fucking that Jinx support yesterday did so much damage and was a billion times more useful than my Senna. Oh no. Is AD support back in meta? Arcane 2! When's that out? Pick my champion. Um. 2024? Oh my god. What do I ban? Zeri. Fuck Zeri. I do like playing Ezreal though. He's really fun to play. So maybe pick Ezreal. I hate it when it's Varus meta! Hate Varus meta, dude. Stand from two screens away and just queue all day. There's a top with the ghost and the TP. 
Nasus. Is that you? Oh, he wants to trade. Sure. Okay, I'll trade pick order with you. Hmm. Actually, you know, maybe I'll play Kaisa. Look at me bold. First picking Kaisa. Actually, do people go this one on her anymore? I thought I saw something different yesterday. Oh no, it's it's zombie ward instead. Okay. Uh still this though. Uh Zaya. I know he did it so late, but I figured he he just didn't realize it. He's like, okay, I trade with, I guess. Fine. I was here anyway. I pay attention, champ select. Totally. Which is why I swap from cut down to coup de gras all the time. Yeah, I don't. I fucking don't. I always just do my ruins in the beginning and then I forget to switch. <laughs> Oops. Eh. Thank God I had cleanse that time though. Other games I paid attention then. This makes me want to cry. I hate fiddle. Pick Leona. Pick Leona so I could just go cleanse and it'd be all worth. Worth. Da, 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 da. Agar. Honestly, still more useful, I feel, in this situation. I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, I always like that with uh, Kaisa. I don't know how good Karma is now. I don't know what's meta. I haven't been playing, so... So... I don't really know. I just kind of play off of how it's been. Forever. In terms of champs, I don't know. Who's good? We got... Buffed? Zeri's meta? Yeah, good, because I'm banning her. She snowballs really easily. Oh. <sighs> Oh, why'd you go MR? Not Vagar mid? I did not think it was Vagar mid. At all. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. A cow. <laughs> Is she? No, she isn't. Love a Kali, though. So, Kaisa's eye all. I want to play Kaisa because I want to play the new build. Well, I don't know how new it is, but the recent build. <laughs> My guy's like, I also went MR. Totally cool moves. Not sure how they do it. I'm surprised he smites it. Whoa. Full Karma skin. Oh, cool Zaya skin too. Hit me here. Oh, 
Maybe one of these games. Uh, one of these lanes. Not the big are out poking the karma. held my breath there because I didn't cleanse. I was like, I don't think I'd die here. Uh, no, it's Fiddle, Fiddle Jungle. It's Nefiri, Nefari mid. Oh, thank god she hit one. Oh fuck, I didn't get that. Oh my god, it hit the other shit. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh my god, please, I'm sorry. I didn't need it. am I watching? Oh wait, uh, Umbral. Uh, that's crazy. This lane is wild. Fuck, I played that so bad. Yeah, I know. Me out. Yeah, that was that 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 guy just W'd into turret, man. Whatever he was doing, whatever he's on, I'll not have some of that. Can't ping your allies anymore? Yeah, I finished Mortal Kombat. It's so good. Yuri. Wait, that's my vision, not no vision. Fuck. My ping fucked up? My V's, my...
and go there. Wow, that guy's mad on his team. Oh shit. I wanted to give my passive on him. Whatever, man. Love it, Vigar. Thank you for outplaying me like that. for that but I won't actual jungle gap crazy Evolve. Hell yeah. Woohoo! I know, Case. Uh, Case. Case is one of the fun ADs to play too. That's fine. Just take a break. I took a break yesterday. I I lost four games in a row, and then I'm playing today, and I I've been winning most uh, every game so far. So yeah, I've gone like a ten game lost streak before and for some reason a 10 game lost streak in league feels like the most depressing thing ever oh my god i fucking got it <sighs> league is the most like up and down emotionally feeling game i feel Not really, I'm just that powerful. Has been slain. Has been slain. Fuck. 
Indeed. Oh my god, I eat and I an auto. Yeah, it's a little greedy, but I just want just want to push the wave in. Fuck. Enemy killing spree. Just like what? I guess I just sold it. Uh, my mid laners having a rough time, but the rest of the team is honestly fine. I think it's winnable. No, fuck. Why is Mordekaiser? <sighs> I mean, I would die that to that anyway, but I'm triggered, man. How's that like that? Karma. We had ignite there actually, but I guess I didn't. Oh, that Q. Dude, their whole team is just here. This is. Your team has destroyed. This is very upsetting. I will say. Mm -hmm. Oh god, please help. Uh -huh. Holy shit! Where is he? Yeah, Mundos can get him, right? Nice, somebody got him. Actually, I think we kind of scale though. Like, mm, comparison to them? Honestly, I'm not sure, but. I mean, other than Lee Sin, I think our team does okay. Kinda keeps dying now though, too. The best. Okay guys. Give me the illusion that oh wow, I missed that. Holy shit, he almost didn't get that. Okay. Let's just come back. Oh fuck. What the fuck? That's all okay again. I shouldn't have run up. Ah. Okay, well. 
Dude, like their team literally comes like right after. Uh... Oh, yeah, he's so strong. Fury's strong too. Okay, bad. Bad. Careful. Vagar's coming. Mid. Not a red buff thing that spawned? Or oh, maybe not. Okay, thank god. I was gonna fucking ask him to give me that. What the? The Q misses there? Hey. Arm. Your team has has Maxis might. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Dude. Oh. This is so. Oh, okay. Okay, you're online now. Oh fuck, I really got that. I think we just need to also track it all. Especially in team fights. Do you have a pink? God. I still don't really know what the theory does. I think we could outpoke them. But yeah, be careful because we're kind of not really playing on the same side here. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get ulti. Holy shit, I want to go on that so bad. <gasps> the discipline. Is there one HP? Hmm? What? Who's there? One there?
That's fine. Actually, I think he's strong. My God! I can Mordecai's right here too. Jesus Christ! Your team has destroyed a turret. An enemy has been slain. Fuck! Do I get QSS here? Maddie, thanks for the 34 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Maddie. I was back in QSS when I have cleanse too. But then I need QSS for Mord, maybe. Like legit, even just for Mord feels kind of like I have to. Holy fuck, he's strong. <laughs> no, I'll do it. Poor entertainment, thank you so much for the prime. Thank ya. Fuck. Why is he so strong, man? I'm also kind of fed-ish. We're both fed, but we're not the same. So because I don't know exactly when the fury does, right? At least in did he dash to me? I moved. Okay, so is it like a line of sight? Or did Lee kick him into me and then he like That's what I thought. That's what I kinda thought. Oh, she, she. Huh. I know, did, did she dash me somehow? Like, whatever the fuck, or... Yeah, I know, I'm getting Zonyas. Yeah, fuck this. Walk into it like that. Uh, there's more to do. Oh, what was that flash? Uh, she might fucking come for my ass. Killing spree. Oh. Oh fuck. Who the fuck? Okay. Little R. Mundo, be free! Just go top, they're all there. It's all yours, they're all here. You got this, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, no worries, yeah. Oh! Uh, NTNT. Oh. 
Full time lurking. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> It fucking blows. USS is not bad here. Honestly. Oh fuck, I missed the cannon. Not like, it's pretty good against our team. Fucking pinged it, bro. Sivir going back. How do people get caught like that when I literally ping? Yeah. Some of them base here. I think Window did. Uh, the word thingy? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't remember. They remembers the game. But it's also on my TikTok, I think. If you want to find the... Maybe the name of it was on there? I think we could poke. Oh god, don't fucking... Oh fuck! The worst. Your team has destroyed a turret. What the fuck that, bro? Your team has destroyed a turret. What else he? What is that? Is that Emma tagged? What the fuck? I don't know what she does. Damn it. I wouldn't have flashed. Maybe I just shouldn't have in case it's like some type of tag. I want to dodge the double Q. So Q is her dog sicking thing. Your 
Yeah, I only know Nafar from TFT2, man. Like, when she came out, I didn't really play her much here. On the Rift. And people banned her. Because what, she was like OP or broken or the first... Um, early too, when she got first release. Oh! Don't you fucking do it! I hate you. Hit the dog instead, and that's that is so cringe. What the fuck? Into this shit. Victory. I can't even W her because her dogs block my W when she's running away like that. Disgusting. See, we won the game. Oh my god. Back to plat two. Let's go. Yone was like, my bad guys. League of Legends is always winnable. Look at this Nafiri at <laughs> 17 and 7. Damn. That's sad. That's sad. Damn, the Mordekaiser, did, they did so much damage too. Are they up like the whole game? How do I see the thing? Oh, advanced details. Uh, how do I see the other chart? Ah, fuck it, I give up. No, <laughs> what happened? A dub is a dub, it's true. Alright, I gotta pee. And we'll play one more. Hear me! Woo! God. Oh my god.
here. I got that. Candy? Carrot? Ice cream? Uh, no, what happened? Nothing beats when your 1v9 is kicked by your Kate let you down last night. Dude, that was like one of the games where I was like, is this real life? I bored me and left. Ari, I love you. <laughs> the Zed performance? What's that performance? How? How did it crash like that? It's League of Legends. Yeah. Um. Oh, G Force. Let's see. I say. Hmm. Oh, a Velka support. Hard. Like a good old Ezreal against a bard. Dude, I love playing Nasus top. Nasus is so fun. No. Nasus is just one of those, like, booge. Oh, Ari, you know, you can't pick out a lot of skins. Ezreal has so many skins. You know? Look at all these. You don't think you ever wanted to see a different skin? Fairy Court? Yeah, I'm down. It's a pretty smooth skin. Oh, and what chroma? Yeah, what chroma? Here, this is yellow. Um, Pink, blue... Purple, teal, pink? All right, pink. Fucking go. Yeah, the chromas are nice. Hell yeah, I am. I do be kind of live or whatever. Live early. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I think we got a D blade. Actually, I want to go with this for quicker things. Yeah, Worlds is later this year. They, they pushed it back. Welcome I don't know why, but... <gasps> oh my god, a face off. Let's fucking go. We got the Guardian, guys. We win. Get the Kai'Sa. I'm low. We gotta retreat. 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 I feel like we could have made this guy flash. We just like straight up walked in here. Ooh. Oh fuck, their whole team is here still. Oh, that was not it. Oh, I'm like... That's the base. Who got it? Oh, okay, Bard got it. Not the worst. Actually, not the worst.
Cues are so soft. They feel like I'm hitting. I feel like pillows. frames bro Just gonna hang out here. Thank you for the 34 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. An enemy has been slain. Nice. <gasps> oh my god, I got it. Whipper. Oh, I guess that does not sound right. Thought about it after I said it. Stalled long enough for the night to wear off and go go after. Yoohoo! Yep, that too. We got the bandages. Thank God. I like this skin. It reminds me of a uh, Samsung. The uh, Samsung is real one. And the Star Guardian one. I just don't like the aesthetic of 
start growing as much sometimes for some of their skins. Feels more like plush, a little too plush. Whoa, what the fuck? Thank you, Rek'Sai. You're here. my items so I want a base. Nice. Oh, the timing is awesome. Holy shit. I can go. Oh wait, I don't. Oh, no, 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 I don't. Oh, fuck. I did. Being the wrong item. I do. Bad. Oh, so close. Fuck! Oh my god. Geometry is weaving. I got that hit. What the fuck? Hey, fuck you, dude. Guardian. Field. Shut down. I also fucking hate geometry. I can't play Velkaz either. Oh fuck. Rex I was at drag, so I was like, oh, I didn't think that you would be here. Uh that's so lame. Sorry, let's call my bounty. Yeah, I'm good. Ah, here to watch me miss cannons? Flat. 
I think you're at the wrong place. I don't miss cannons. You have me mistaken for someone else. Where is it? Go mid. Happening here. Going on, man. Ow. Oh my god. I can't with catching these W's. Not in the good way. What's that thing following him? York looking ass thing. Great. Oh, he stole York ulti. Hey, a second. I think I didn't talk shit. <gasps> Oh fuck. Could have healed, but I thought he was dead. Uh red buff killed him though, so he probably would have worked. Oh my god. Please. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, she didn't heal. Yikes, bro. I did not want to fight that. That was kind of a bad spot. Nancy, thank you so much for the 15 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we won every game so far. This game's a little grim, but so is last game, I guess. So we'll see. Looking kind of bad, though. Your jungler's pretty hit. Frick's eye falls off. But... Fingers crossed. It'll be fine. No, we won last game. You just curse me, Ari. An ally has been slain. Yeah. Well, look, we won our two v twos, but we died because of Silas and the other people. Oh, three locks. Oh, nice. Did she heal? Oh, she went back in. All cocky. I think it's winnable. Zior can kind of get a little gross. Ending. So, honestly, kind of winnable off that. Uh, I want to go mid though. Is there. Really, York? Really? What the fuck? Nice. He definitely into there. I said, maybe we can go top. Go top. Just fucking all. Go top. Nice. Okay, we take those. Bad. Running all the way back. Could I get this and this? They take it. Oh fuck! Okay, you get out. Nice. I'll say this is this is takeable. Just auto it once, right? What's the worst that could happen? Size comes out, one shots us all. Nah. Impossible. How long till drag? A uh, minute. All right. We gotta pick vision. Go. Let's go. Our spot. Fuck you, Bard. That's our jungle, you bitch. I'm scared. Yeah. There are not a lot of wards on this map. Oh, but how epic is it if we get this Camille? What the fuck? They're on Baron? Dude. Alright, we just we should kill this. And then get dragon after if we can. Oh jeez. Oh, we can't even. That's terrible. Let's go. Yeah. Oh no.
My frames, I can't handle having 40 frames. Mercy, please, Riot. Well, probably a me issue actually, but... Pretty strong now. Three items. Oh god. Ice just goes in on that in our base and it's okay? Or what? Oh damn. Damn blood. Blood she didn't get away with that. That was so not worth what the fuck. She insecure this before like that. You vex my wave. Oh shit. Run. Oh um. get out, get out. Front row. I got him. There. Well, do you have two minutes? Baron's up in two minutes, everything is up in two minutes. Not hard to get vision here. I should have gone red. Dance suspect. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, can't win like that. Holy shit. The way Vex just did that. That's bad.
Oh, don't let them do it. Oh my god, that kills me. I did not think that would kill me. Oh, there. Damn. Is she? Oh, she's like more if he. Or anything. Game, what do an ally has been slain? Oh. Are they on the thing? Maybe. Oh. He's strong, but oh my God. Guys, really don't need everyone to base here. Neil's bot. Oh god! Oh god! Get the fuck out! See you guys later. Quite EP heavy. They could just get a little bit. Oh shit. They try to take this from there. Hopefully they take it. We're doing it. Come, bitch. Your inhibitor is respawning soon. Your inhibitor is respawning soon. That looked like I sidestepped it and it fucking clipped me still. Oops. Hitbox of that man.
What else is missing? I can get this turret. Look at this guy. Oh my god. Holy shit. Please, let me kill this guy. Oh my god. Fuck, I can E out. Ah, jeez. I lose that. Oh my god, she's so low. Shut down. Oh my god, he got him. Well, oh, fuck. What do? Need some more damage. Yeah, you got two. Oh, yeah. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. Hi, here. Hmm. I'm sure we lost that. Or like, um. Got dragged. At least. Not a bad trade. We lost two though. We got one. Hmm. Damn, Yorick has a bounty on him. Oh, they're doing it. Wow. Oh my god, he almost killed them. Damn. Oh my god, they got that missed. Honestly, I like this, uh, well, I got. Quite nice. Not gonna lie. Uh, no, I haven't. Not since like it wasn't the regular build path for him. But is it? I don't know. I haven't played. I don't consistently play League, so I'm just buying shit off of like recommended to or U.G.G. I missed my cue. Uh, I think it was right there. Well, I said W.
die here. I would risk it, but if I die here, it's really bad. Until we weren't. God. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Somebody reported someone. I don't know who it was. Damn it. Well. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't end it off on a win, but bad. Okay, I gotta go off now. I have a meeting soon. Um, but ooh, look at you. Isn't this cute? Anita had a little birthday thing, and so we went to go make a. Uh, like, you can make phone cases. I decided to make a photo frame because I didn't want my phone case to be that chonky. And you get to pick all the charms and everything. I, there's a Starbucks charm! And they had all these cute ones. Hello Kitty, Sailor Moon, Kirby, Totoro. Yeah, so I got to like... It's really cute. Alright. Hi, DX. Sorry, just saw it on the side of my desk, so I thought I'd share. All right, but sorry guys, I gotta go have a meeting, but thank you guys for watching today. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time, which would be... Either tomorrow or Saturday, or both. <laughs> One or the other for sure. Keone, thank you for the five subs. If you guys got subbies from Keone, please thank him. Thanks, Keone. Thanks for watching, guys. At least we got more wins today. Thank God. I swear to God. After yesterday, if we didn't get any, I was gonna... I was gonna fucking mauled. Alright. Bye! Thanks for watching. Goodbye!